Palestinian people are standing tall. They are not giving up, but the situation is difficult. The Israeli attacks are becoming more and more aggressive every day. And I just came back from a visit to the Pediatric Children's Hospital, Mohammed al Dora Hospital in Gaza City, which was hit by blasts from Israeli bombs last night, and the whole hospital is damaged. And I saw the bed in the intensive care unit of a small girl, two and a half years, that was killed in the hospital bed, in the hospital, by the, uh, the Israeli explosion. And I think this bombing of a pediatric hospital was too nearby to secure it is a symbol of the brutality of this attack. So far, as of yesterday at 7 o'clock last night, 5,906 Palestinians have been injured or killed in Gaza. The number of kills are 788, and among the 788 kills, 190 are children. 5,118 Palestinians have been injured so far, and among them, more than 1,500 1, are children. These numbers tell you everything about the attack on Gaza. This is a war against the civilian population. And in our Sifa hospital, 90% of those we see coming in here are civilians. Women, children, elders, men, decent people who have not done anything wrong in their lives but being born Palestinians in Gaza. I salute you today as solidarity workers for peace in Palestine. The world has to wake up. The people of Gaza feel that they are treated like animals and I can understand them. The Israeli politics against the Palestinian people in Gaza is absolutely unacceptable, it is a war crime, and it is a crime against humanity. The people of Gaza have been under siege for seven hard years, nothing in, nothing out. The Palestinian economy is shattered, and the unemployment rate is extremely high. The healthcare sector has also suffered greatly, and Al-Shifa Hospital had to stop all planned surgery from the middle of June, before this last attack, because they lacked everything. Disposables, instruments, drugs, electricity, water. Then after, after the, they had to stop the planned surgical activities, came the bombing, which have now been going on for, I believe it is, 18 days. As we are speaking together now, the bombs keep falling over Gaza, the ambulances keep rushing into Shifa Hospital, and the people are trying to survive the attacks of one of the world's largest military powers, with full support, with full support, of the U.S. government and President Obama, Israeli governmental forces are waging a war against an unprotected people who do not have shelters, they do not have early warning systems, and they do not have any international protection or security. Somebody says that the Israel government has the right to defend its people. Of course they have, and so has the Palestinian people. But if you look at the numbers, the Israelis are not defending themselves. They are attacking. So far, as I said, 788 Palestinians killed, two Israelis killed. These two numbers tell you everything about who is attacking and who are defending themselves. We, ordinary people, must take our responsibility 
and support the brave people of Gaza. They will never surrender. They want to live in peace with their neighbors. They want to have freedom from occupation and colonialism. They want to have the right to express themselves and to see their children go to school and have a future. Israeli politics against the Palestinians today is pure apartheid. It is the worst apartheid system than what we saw in South Africa during the time of apartheid. And I will conclude, I will conclude by uh, quoting the great leader in the struggle, in the struggle against South African apartheid, Mandiba, Nelson Mandela. He said two important things. He said that if you want peace, you have to talk to your enemies. So, number one, Israel has to talk to the Palestinians and the leaders that they have. Israel will not be able to bomb themselves to any sort of solution. There are no military solutions to the occupation of Palestine. There are only political solutions. Number two, Nelson Mandela said, Without the freedom, he said, our freedom is incomplete without the freedom of the Palestinian people. I repeat, our freedom is incomplete without the freedom of the Palestinian people. And that goes for the Swedish people, for the Norwegian people, and for every people in the world. The Palestinian struggle is our struggle. It is a struggle against colonialism, occupation, racism, and death. Stand together, stand tall, be strong, and increase the solidarity work with regards from the strong Gaza, from Sufa Hospital. Thank you so much.